Hey guys, Captain Keith here with Marine Max in Clearwater. Today we're on board a Boston Whaler 350 Realm. We're gonna take a little tour through the bilge. Get down here and we take a look at what we've got. So you'll see there's a pump here and I got this hose coming off and there's a seacock handle with the zip tie on it and that's closed. That's for the overboard discharge for the waste. You wanna make sure that that is closed and zip tied down when you're inshore. To overboard discharge, you gotta be nine miles out in the Gulf or three miles out in the Atlantic. So you're getting outside of state waters into federal waters, you would open that up and then you turn on the switches and you could pump your waste out into the water. When you're done, make sure you close that back off and zip tie it back closed. We've got strainers on here, all right? So you're gonna have a water pickup for the generator. You're gonna have water pickups for your air conditioners. You may end up getting into some sand or some grass or there's you know debris floating around and it might suck it up in there and restrict the water flow. You need to know how to clean out your strainers so you can turn your stuff back on. So on these strainers, there's a handle on the sides that will close down like that. So that'll shut the water flow off. Then you've got a lid on the top. You wanna unscrew this lid and if it's tight like that. So this is just a little pin wrench and there's some dimples on here that I can put in there and in there and it gives me a little extra torque to be able to loosen that up. This lid will unscrew. You're not gonna have any water flow coming up through here because we've got the valve shut off. You'll pull this little stainless steel basket out of here. It's just kind of like a swimming pool filter. And then you can hand it up to somebody. They'll clean out the, the grass and the weeds and stuff that are in here. You wanna get it nice and clean again. And then you wanna put it back in and make sure she seats all the way back down in there. Get it in there snug like that. And then you're gonna screw your lid back on and just kind of go hand tight with it. And then if you get that spanner wrench, you can give it an extra little snug. Seal that off. Okay, go tight. Just an extra little oomph. Now like that. And then open your seacock back up that allow the water flow to come back in there. You'll also notice these are clear and you can kind of see the honeycomb stainless steel basket in there. So you can kind of check and look at your strainers no matter where they are in here to make sure that they're clean and free of debris. Um, every once in a while, every month or so, get in here and open and close those so that they stay nice and free and in working condition so they don't get stuck in the up open position. Just quickly, a couple other things. You got a couple bilge pumps in here. These are both 2,000 gallons an hour. The main one sits down a little bit lower. The float switch on the other one sits a little bit higher. So if the first one can't keep up, then your second one will, will take over and join in the, in the pump out. So anyway, that's a brief, quick run through on cleaning your strainers. Very important. Exercise those seacock valves so that uh, you can open and close them when you need to.